Welcome to another episode of Friday Thrift Finds. Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. And like I said in the intro, this is yet another episode of Friday Thrift Finds. I believe this is episode 12 in the series. Um, I spent $80, $80.62 $80 to be precise. Um, I got 19 items, I think, which brings the average cost of goods to $4.24. I know you guys like to hear the average cost of goods, even if that's not how I record um, my numbers for my spreadsheet, my inventory. Um, but anyway, let's just hop right into this. Okay, so we're gonna get a personal item out of the way first because it's big and I want it out of my way. This is an Ikea pegboard. It's called the Skatis, Skatis. I don't know, I don't speak Swedish. Um, but I did have the extra large version of this um, in my old apartment and then I got rid of it when I moved. If you watched any of my videos from 2019 and prior. It was almost always in the background of those videos, but um, I did get rid of it because I didn't really have a space for it. And I think this is gonna go in my shed. I am gonna overhaul my entire shed, which will be coming out on YouTube pretty soon. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get some little attachments to fit in here um, to hold some of my tools and stuff for my shed. Also, the lighting is not the best today because it's like, after five, I think. Um, so, you know, I use natural light to film. I don't have a ring light or any of that stuff. So this item actually already sold. This is a Burton crossbody bag. I just thought it was really adorable. I love the long adjustable strap and the multicolor houndstooth print. It's like pink, green, and red. It does have one small flaw that probably won't even show up on camera, so I'm not going to bother. It's right here, just on the thread. Um, it's a little bit discolored. I had a larger stain that I used a Tide Pen on and it went away. So I listed this for 20 on eBay and got an offer of 17 um, within hours of listing it. So I just accepted that offer. They paid and it's going out tomorrow. Some of this stuff is already listed. I'm trying to stay on top of stuff. I do still have quite a big death pile of old stuff that I just never got around to listing. So I'm trying to stay on top of the new stuff so that I can, you know, kind of go through my death pile a little bit at a time. Um, but yeah, these are a pair of Sorel slip-on sneakers. Um, I honestly didn't think that these would be Sorel when I saw them in the thrift. I just knew that you know, it was really nice leather and they look to be in good shape. So I picked them up and then saw the Sorel on the inside. These are the Camp Sneak uh, sneakers. I originally thought they were a green color, but it turns out they're gray and I don't know, I was just seeing things. but. These are a size 10 in women's. I do have a couple brands that are new to me in this haul, um, this being the first one. This is Backbeat Co. Made in the USA in California. I did take a look at their website because I had never heard of them before and their t-shirts sell for $57. Um, so that's pretty high for a t-shirt in my opinion. I mean, it's not you know luxury or anything like that, but they're also made out of really nice material. So this is um, organic hemp and organic cotton, which I just learned from Bob Buys that hemp is a linen fabric. So thank you for that because I only knew about flax but not hemp. So yeah, it's very soft. It is meant to be oversized. This is called the Tomboy Hemp Tea and it's kind of like a marigold color. It's called Poppy. Um, so it's like a yellow and orange. This is a size medium. Again, meant to be an oversized fit. Here's another brand that is new to me. This is a menswear brand. This is called Buck Mason. Not anything crazy expensive, but a good bread and butter piece. When I Googled this brand in the store, I got a GQ article that said it was one of GQ's favorite menswear pieces, this specific t-shirt in this exact color. So uh, I don't know. I don't know if that'll help sell it. It's just a plain short sleeve tee in like a gray marled color. Here's a little close up for you, so yeah. 
Next we have another Athleta sports bra. I don't know why I've been finding so many of these lately. Um, this one's from Holiday 17, I believe. It's a size medium. It's called the um, Pura bra. It's like a ribbed seamless bra in a very pale pink color. Somehow I found another universal standard t-shirt. Uh, I have now found two of these tees in the last couple months um, and both of which just sold within the last week. And then I found this one, which is also a size medium, which is the only size in the tees that I've ever found. It's uh, an 1820 because they are size inclusive and a plus size brand. I've never found the V-neck version of this. I've only just found the crew neck, which is called the T-Rex, um, and this one's called the V-Rex. Next, I have a pair of shorts, and I honestly hate shorts just a little bit more than I hate jeans. Um, jeans I hate because of the measurements. Shorts I hate because they just don't sell for me, but um, I love this brand, so I couldn't leave them. This is All Saints size 27. My favorite thing about All Saints is that the care tags inside will have the style name of the item so that it's much easier to locate, uh, especially if you like to use stock photos. Um, these were actually sold on Revolve. Um, I can't remember what the price is, but these are the Hanna paper bag short paper bag waist. As you can see, it does have a belt with um, grommets all along the entirety of the belt so you can adjust that. And they are a little bit of a longer length short, which is great. All right, this is the last thing that has already been listed. Everything else that I'm gonna show you after this hasn't been listed yet. Um, as always, if you're interested in anything, just reach out to me. This is Prana size small. Prana's honestly hit or miss for me, mostly miss, but this is recycled wool. Um, though the care tag is missing, I just happen to know that because I looked up the style. This is the Matea. It's got like a herringbone print and it has an asymmetrical bottom hem um, with this adjustable funnel neck. So it's not really the right season for wool sweaters, but when you find a good brand and it was priced under $5, you can't really say no or at least I can't anyways. Next we have a pair of jeans. I learned this brand from Amber Resells. It's only my second time picking it up. Usually they price it at $10 or more in my thrift stores and that's just not worth it to me. Um, it has to be something really good for me to pay $10. Um, this is Judy Blue, size five or 27. Let me just button them real quick. I know skinny jeans aren't really the style anymore. Somebody cuffed these, but they'll just come uncuffed pretty easily. But I don't know. I decided to pick them up anyways because they were, I think, $6.49 and I always have a 20% off. Next we have a Patagonia tee. I didn't think that this would be Patagonia just from seeing the front of the shirt. Um, you'll see why in a second, but Patagonia. Here is the label, size medium, and this is a short sleeve tee with a motorcycle on it. So yeah, when I saw this, I didn't see the inner tag. I just focused on the motorcycle and didn't think that it would be Patagonia. So happy with that. I usually sell my Patagonia tees regardless of what image is on the front for around 25 bucks. All right, here is a piece of Everlane. I personally love Everlane because they are a sustainable company. This is a size extra small. Here is the label. This is like a cropped length short sleeve tee, but it's a little bit thicker. It kind of feels almost like a sweatshirt. So I haven't tried to look it up to see what the name of this piece is yet since it's not listed, but always happy to pick up Everlane. This next brand honestly hasn't been doing the best for me um, versus you know when I've sold it in the past, but I can't leave my girl Eileen behind, especially when it's $2.50 before the discount. Um, this is a size extra small and typically the larger sizes do better for me, but this is a newer piece. Let me see what they're made out of. Organic linen and linen. Um, so linen pants and they are like a striped cropped wide leg pant. So really excited to see what these will do, especially since you know the correct season is coming. This is a Lululemon tank, and I probably should have left it because the tanks don't do the best. I can get $20 if I'm lucky. 
This is an older style with the built-in sports bra. I do like the color though. It's like a minty green. Um, I don't remember the size. It is a size eight. So worst comes to worst, this will be mine. That is my size in the lemon tops. Next we have another pair of Everlane. Um, these are a size two. Slightly different tag than the shirt I just showed you a few minutes ago. And these are a pull-on cropped skinny pant. They're in really excellent condition, tons of stretch, so happy with those. Okay, this next piece needs some love before I get it listed. This is the Elation Tight from Athleta um, in a size LT, so large, tall. So that's why I picked these up, the size, because um, I know it's sometimes difficult for tall ladies to find um, active wear that will fit their inseam. I didn't look up comps beforehand to see what these would go for. The price was just decent enough for me to pick up. They are kind of like a plum eggplant color. It's coming up a little bit more red on camera though. This next pair of pants I picked up because they were priced at $2.49 like the Eileen Fisher pants. This is Wilfred, which is sold at Aritzia, aka the Canadian version of Anthropology, basically. And for some reason, the Anthropology brands do way worse for me than the Aritzia brands. I don't know if it's just because, you know, I'm obviously a US seller and maybe you can't find them as frequently in the US. I don't know. But these are again a cropped wide leg pant um, with a drawstring elastic waist. This was a fun find. These are Spanx. I don't find Spanx too often. Um, they are size medium. Here is the label. And these are actually a pair of pull-on denim pants. And super stretchy. Really need to get those listed because they typically fly out of my closets. This is an MLM and I don't really support them, but this activewear brand does particularly well. This is Zaya. Here is the logo, it's like a little crescent moon. This is a size large. It does have a small stain that I think I can get out, um, but it is a little cropped twist front tee. It's super soft. This brand I've only found one other time before, um, and it did take a while to sell, but it's still eventually sold for a decent price. This is Lovers and Friends, size small. I think typically people find the dresses from this brand, um, but this is a top. It is a gray sweatshirt. It's gonna look really terrible right now because I haven't fixed the tie, but it has like a corset tie along the V-neck. Someone did not tie that too well. Um, so I haven't looked up a style or anything, but um, it was a decent enough price for me to pick up. All right, next we have a Free People piece, and this is the first Free People item I've picked up in quite a while. Um, it just doesn't move for me. I think this is an older tag. It is a size small. I have no idea what style this is. It doesn't have the OB number inside, um, but it's just a blue top with this heavy embroidery at the bottom. I really love that and it's definitely an oversized fit because this is a small and it's pretty big as is most of free people. It's very oversized in general. One more clothing item and then we'll move on to a couple other things. This does not have its brand tag anymore. It's completely gone, but I picked it up because it's tie dye and it's like a really fun tie dye pattern um, in pink and orange and it felt really nice. So I tried to see if it had the care tag still intact and it does. It's rails. This is a size small. It's the Ramona Sunset tie dye. I haven't looked up comps. I probably should have because rails or at least the button down like the hunter style of rails don't do the best for me anymore but it's not a brand I come across very often and so that typically will sway me in the direction of buying it. So again, it's also tie dye and I love tie dye so that was another factor in me picking it up. All right, I have one bag. This is a Le Sports sack. Here is the label. This is not anything special. It's just like a travel cosmetics pouch. It's pretty much 
clean and unused inside so i honestly don't think anyone ever used this for anything it has a couple pockets inside like slip pockets and then the outside has nothing it's just like a fun polka dot print I don't know how much this will sell for. I'll probably put like, I don't know, maybe $15 tops on it and take offers from there. And then we just have two pairs of shoes to close out this thrift haul. The first pair that I'm grabbing is a pair of Tory Burch. It's been a while since I found some Tory shoes. These are wedges um, with the cap toe and the little Tory um, logo. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't know the style. These are a size six and a half though. Um, so a pretty small size and they're in really good condition. They do have another Tory logo on the bottom here, which I just realized. And the back of the heels are in pretty good shape as well. And last but not least, we have a hit or miss brand for me. Um, it really just largely depends on style and size. In my experience, this is the last thing that I picked up on my way to the registers as I was about to leave the store. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention this haul came from my honey hole. Um, so this is Vionic. They're in pretty good shape. I mean, there is some creasing on the toe box here, as you can see. Um, they've definitely been worn. There's some dirt on the bottom, but I like picking up Vionics. These are the Mallory, also in a size 10. So, I mean, the Sorrells were a size 10, these are a size 10, and then the Tories were a six and a half. So, I don't know, apparently I went for bigger sizes and then the really teeny sizes on this day. But yeah, they're just like a black snakeskin slip on mule um, comfort insoles so I don't know we'll see maybe I can get $30 out of them maybe I can get more I don't know I haven't looked them up because I haven't listed them but anyway that's all I have for you guys today I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did at any point please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing I'd love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time bye